Hi everybody and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. If you've been watching our channel, you know that that is my dad's 2019 Ram 2500. And if you like trucks, well then you know that that is the Ram Power Wagon. Now in this video, I want to do a bit of a deep dive into the Ram HD lineup and talk about the differences between these two trucks and more specifically, what makes a Power Wagon so good off-road. In case you aren't familiar, this is the Ram Power Wagon. Now the Power Wagon nameplate has been around since the Second World War. The Power Wagon package is all about going off-road into some rough environments and you can only get it here on a 2500 series Ram. And that's what makes this comparison so interesting because of course that is also a 2500. But now I want to cover one big similarity and that is price. Both of these trucks come in in the mid $80,000 range here in Canada so we need to see now what you're getting for all the money. So what do you get when you check that Power Wagon box? Well, starting right at the front, you get a 12,000 pound worn winch, which comes in really handy. And for the longest time, this was the only truck on the market you could get a factory winch on. Now you also have that Ford Tremor, but still handy to have that winch up there. Now the Power Wagon package also brings you a unique fascia, so you're getting better angles up front. Of course you have unique suspension all the way throughout to make sure you can eat up some rough stuff off-road. Now another important point, tires. You get a standard set of Wrangler Duratrax on this truck. That is an aggressive set of all-terrains wrapped around 17-inch wheels. You can tell a serious off-roader by the trucks that go with smaller wheels, not bigger wheels. Wheels. This is what you want, more sidewall and less wheel. Now rolling back down the truck, of course the entire body here is lifted. We'll talk about that more soon. You get this Power Wagon graphics package, which looks a lot better now in this new generation. It's a lot more grown up. Uh, some of this plastic body cladding here in the Power Wagon too. And uh, that's about it for kind of special off-road additions on this truck. And now I want to bring Dad in and he's going to go over all of the differences between this beauty and his rig. So when we're comparing these two trucks, it's important to note that though this is a 2019, this is the newest generation of Ram 2500. So when we look at my truck and we look at the power wagon, the body, the chassis, basically all the running gear is identical. So now comes the question, what are the differences? Well, the first one and the big one is that this truck has a Cummins, a 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel. That is not available in the Power Wagon, which comes with the 6.4 liter gas Hemi. Now there's a lot of speculation and has been for a long time as to why that is, but it comes down to, I think, two things. One, weight. That engine's lighter than this diesel is. Second is that with some of the things they're doing over there, particularly with that winch, I don't think they left enough room to shoehorn this inline six in there. Past that, it doesn't really make any difference. You got lots of power coming out of that 6.4. Now, the whole point of a power wagon is to get you into places that you can't get to with my truck. So it's got a lift. We'll look at that in a minute. It also has locking front and rear differentials. My truck doesn't have that. You're either in four high or four low, but they're open diffs. And thirdly, a disconnecting sway bar on this power wagon. What does that mean? Well, we'll show you that as well, but it gives you some crazy articulation when you get into the rough stuff. So those are the key differences and they're the ones that you're paying for. But however, as Steve mentioned earlier, it's interesting to see that these two trucks cost almost the same. So you really need to look at what is it you're doing with your truck. What we're going to look at right now is payload numbers and towing numbers between these two trucks. And you will be amazed at how different they are, even though the trucks almost look the same. So let's take a look at the door jam sticker on my truck. So that 2,100 pounds as compared to 
1,100 pounds. On the power wagon, 1,000 pounds difference. On the back end, if you're towing power wagon, approximately 10,000 pounds off the bumper. My truck, 17,500 pounds off the bumper. So my truck tows more, my truck will carry more. But I already told you, it won't go in as far as that power wagon does. So now let's take a look at why that is. So handy dandy ruler, let's start with the air dam. So I'm saying that that's nine inches. I got about nine inches of clearance underneath that air dam. So let's go over to the power wagon and I'm calling that 12. So I got 12 inches. So there's three inches of difference right away just at the air dam. So let's come back over here and take a look at my wheel well openings. So roughly from the center, I've got eight inches of clearance in here. And I'm pointing that out because that, give, that basically limits me in terms of the size of tires that I can possibly get. So follow up, Steve, come on now, let's go. Over here on the other side, we take a look at power wagon, approximately from the center, 12 inches. So again, that three inches, not only did I get it from the air dam, but I also lifted the entire body. So roughly we got about a three inch lift on this entire body. And when you're off road, clearance is your friend. Traction is wonderful, but if you can't get that chassis up off the ground far enough, you're just going to hang up. So that's the first thing that's important for this power wagon. So it's true that the power wagon has a lift, but I want to try something out here because this is just a body lift. The tires here are actually just about the same size as on dad's truck and that probably means that clearance to the bottom of this differential should be about the same and I want to measure it. So here we go. Crawl in here. So right to the bottom edge of this dip pumpkin, you're only talking about seven and a half inches. Yep, seven and a half. Now, of course, we're not on the most even ground here, so give or take a little bit, but uh, we've got seven and a half here in the power wagon. Let's go see how the bighorn does. Off you go. Crawl under my truck. Okay, crawling under dad's truck now. And everything looks the same. What are the odds? Oh, I got a stupid snow pile right here. That's gonna give you a little less clearance. Let me clear that out. Okay, so to the bottom of this diff, you're talking about, oh, it's definitely more. Not a ton. And I mean, I'm working with snow here. It's eight and a quarter. Yeah, it's about, about eight and a quarter, but it's definitely more clearance here. So like I said, I think my hunch was correct that the actual diameter on the wheels and tires here on Dad's truck are bigger than the power wagon. And that means you're not actually getting more clearance at the differential. And this is the difference between, you know, a body lift and then actually getting bigger tires or doing something to lift up this uh, diff back here. Now I wanna show you folks the difference with that disconnectable sway bar. And it's all about the way this truck flexes. So this is dad's truck. This is the Bex flex. We can kind of get out of it here just using our big stones here on the side of our driveway. But you can see the angle the truck is sitting on. And that's because the one side is up in the air. Now when we get the power wagon up here, it should look a little different. The other thing I wanna show you is the rear passenger tire is not off the ground but it's close. There's not a lot of weight on this tire right now. So let's get the power wagon up here and we'll see what it looks like. And now here's the big articulation, folks. So this power wagon was able to get up on our second rock here and you can see how that tire is being forced up into the wheel well. And yet this low tire down here is still making contact with the ground. And that's what articulation is all about. Being able to get in weird flex events, but still have traction. How much uh, ground clearance are we talking about there? We're at the moment, we're uh, 30 inches into the air at the bumper. 30. Maybe 27 and a half in the air dam. Nice. Yeah, no, she's definitely up there. And again, this is the reason why you'd get this truck, because it'll flex like crazy and dad's truck I mean, it couldn't even make it up on the rocks, but it wouldn't do this at all. It would be lifting tires. And even this rear tire back here, it's much more in contact with the ground than it was on dad's truck. 
And again, take a look. Take a look at how much of his flex we got. No kidding. 16 inches almost. Nicely done, Power Wagon. Now let's talk about driving differences from behind the wheel. And I noticed two things right away. First of all, the Power Wagon here definitely feels lighter than Dad's truck. And honestly, you can feel the weight in the front end of that big horn. You can feel the weight of the diesel on that front axle. Power Wagon here just generally feels a bit lighter, handles a little bit quicker. Uh, and then second of all, the Power Wagon here rides a lot smoother than Dad's truck. Because this suspension is set up to take you off-road, it also just makes it you know, softly sprung unlike dad's truck which is set up to handle towing and payload and therefore is quite stiff and that suspension feeling is honestly one of the biggest real world differences because taking an hd off-road has always been a very uncomfortable experience and this power wagon was one of the first big trucks to say you know what you don't have to absolutely get beat up to take an hd off-road well, we're coming to the end of this one, folks. And if you've been yelling at your YouTube screen, why aren't you taking the Power Wagon off-road? Well, don't worry. In a couple of days, we're headed up north to our test property, and we will see how this beast handles in the snow. So make sure you come right back here to the channel to watch that video. And as always, don't forget to go below right now. Leave us a comment. Let me know what you think of the Power Wagon and my dad's big horn over there. As always, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, Hit join to become a member of the channel and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we're testing next. See you guys.